Look on the shelves of any garden center and it's easy to feel bewildered by the astonishing variety of fertilizers and soil amendments designed to improve the growth of your plants. Which are best and when should you use them? Hi, I'm Ben, and if you're confused by them all, let me help you out, because today I'm going to look at the best organic fertilizers for your garden. There are two main types of fertilizer, organic and synthetic. So which is better? Well, on this channel, we always recommend gardening organically. It's easier and cheaper that way because there are fewer artificial inputs and it promotes long-term plant and garden health. We're literally working with nature here. I tend to think of organic fertilizers a bit like natural whole foods. Whole foods really nourish the body, don't they? They keep you trim, fit, and happier in yourself. And it's kind of the same with our plants. Well, synthetic fertilizers have lots of man-made ingredients in them, and they act fast on plants. But it's a bit like junk food. Junk food makes us feel great when we eat it, or it does me anyway but um, it quickly leaves you feeling a bit depleted and wanting more, craving more, and it's the same with plants. Synthetic fertilizers keep them happy and feed them quite quickly, but then they become kind of like addicted to it. Organic fertilizers nourish them in a much more sustainable and long-term way. The word organic means anything that comes from a living organism. That includes composts, manures, as well as any plant feeds derived from the remains of plants or animals. Once applied, these organic materials will gradually get incorporated into your garden's ecosystem, becoming part and parcel of its natural cycle and contributing to its future fertility and ongoing functioning. At its very basic, organic plant food begins with composts and manures. This is the ultimate plant food, a natural source of nutrients released slowly and steadily to your plants while also improving the condition and structure of your soil over time. Many gardeners get away with nourishing their soil with nothing more than compost or well-rotted manure. It's what nature does, so it's no surprise that it should work just fine. You should only use well-rotted manure from herbivores, so that's cows, sheep, horses, rabbits and so on. And make sure that the animals haven't fed on anything sprayed with persistent herbicides that could affect your crop. Apply your compost or other organic matter to the soil at planting time or lay it around actively growing plants as a mulch to help feed them steadily, boosting your chances of a truly nutritious bumper crop. I also like to add it whenever I lift a finished crop up even if the ground's going to remain bare for some time. The nutrients won't wash away and it will help to keep the soil and all the beneficial organisms in it happy until it is time to plant. And then you have soil amendments that look a bit like traditional fertilizers because they're either in pellet or granular form. Pellets like these uh, chicken manure pellets here are essentially organic matter that's been completely dried out and then compressed into pellet form, in this case, chicken poo. Now, because the chicken manure pellets have a lot less moisture in than, say, farmyard manure, it's a lot more concentrated. That makes it excellent for new plantings of especially hungry crops like cabbages and other leafy greens. Other common pelleted products include comfrey pellets like these. Again, nothing more than dried out and pressed comfrey. Comfrey pellets are a great source of potassium and trace elements, making them an easy, clean and convenient way to feed flowering and fruiting plants like squash, tomatoes and peppers, for example. Pellets, because they're organic matter, will just break down into the soil like any other organic matter, contributing to your soil's health and general condition. For the organic gardener, organic fertilizers usually contain animal byproducts. Let's start with this bone meal here which is basically the dried out bones of animals, as the name implies. Now, bone meal is an excellent fertilizer that's full of phosphorus, which is particularly good for strong root growth. This means that bone meal is just the ticket for newly planted trees and shrubs to help them establish, as well as root crops like parsnips and carrots. Another byproduct of the animal industry is blood meal or dried blood. This is sometimes harder to come across. It's a fast acting fertilizer, especially high in nitrogen, making it ideal as a top dressing around leafy plants like lettuce, chard, or brassicas like kale. It's also great for kickstarting decomposition in straw bales for anyone looking to start a straw bale garden. Hoof and horn is another granular fertilizer that's high in nitrogen. 
And then there's blood, fish and bone meal, which, no prizes for guessing, contains blood and bone like the above, with the addition of fish meal. This makes it an almost perfectly balanced all-purpose fertiliser. You've got the nitrogen from the blood meal, you've got the phosphorus from the bone meal, and with the addition of fish meal, potassium for flowers and fruits. It's an excellent all-purpose fertiliser for use right around the vegetable garden and the garden generally. You can rake it into the soil at planting time or just apply it to the top dressing around actively growing plants and then lightly fork it in. Wonderful stuff. One of the very best soil conditioners you'll find is calcified seaweed, basically seaweed with calcium and seashells. The calcium helps to break down heavy clay soils, while the seaweed is a boon to beneficial microorganisms in the soil. The result? Better soil structure and a thriving soil life that encourages strong roots and healthier, more vigorous plants. It might not look like much, but this totally organic granular fertilizer is a real powerhouse. Use it to green up lawns early on in spring as an alternative to lime for your brassicas or to boost your crops, triggering more flowers and fruits. Do make sure that the product you're buying has been harvested sustainably though. This liquid seaweed concentrate also contains the riches of the sea. Seaweed really is magic stuff. It's fantastic for fruiting crops like tomatoes. The real strength of organic liquid feeds like this liquid seaweed here, or your own brew like a, a comfrey or nettle tea for example, is that they're absorbed along with the water that carries them. So they act really quickly. It makes them very fast acting indeed. In the case of liquid seaweed, you're adding a beautiful rainbow of trace minerals too. This makes it really good for adding a boost to growing crops every few weeks. Just make sure that what you're buying says organic on the label, or you may inadvertently be adding lots of artificial additives too. Organic fertilizers and feeds can give your garden a real boost, not just right now, but in the longer term too. My personal favorite is always going to be the chicken manure pellets, and I'd love to know what your favorite organic fertilizer is too. So please do join in the conversation below. If you found this video useful, do subscribe, give that cheeky little notification bell a wee tinkle, and why not throw us a thumbs up while you're at it? I'll catch you next time.